Hello, I'm Kim Tizer. Today's February 24th, 2023. Here are your latest church militant headlines. America's top pro-abortion politician is once again touting his fake Catholic credentials. While visiting Poland, Joe Biden attended a private mass for Ash Wednesday, where the Polish priest put the ashes on his forehead instead of sprinkling them on his hair, as is Polish tradition. Despite his aggressive pro-abortion policies, Biden tweeted, the Lenten season is a time for reflection and discernment and an opportunity to recommit ourselves to God and to one another. May we continue to keep the faith and look with hopeful hearts towards Easter. In India, Christians are rallying against worsening persecution. Over 2,000 Indian Christians hosted a march in New Delhi on Sunday, calling on India's prime minister to combat the nation's rise in anti-Christian persecution. Marchers wore black armbands to signify the violence suffered by Christians in India. According to the United Christian Forum, there were almost 600 cases of violence against Christians last year, marking a 400% increase since 2014. In the U.S., a troubled diocese is being accused of hiding funds from sex abuse victims. On Tuesday, over 100 clerical sex abuse victims sued the Diocese of San Diego. According to the suit, the diocese, led by heterodox Cardinal Robert McElroy, transferred over $450 million of assets to parishes to avoid paying abuse victims. The victim's attorney stated they have developed a PR spin on how they're concerned about victims, but at the end of the day, it's all about the money and protecting their assets. Staying in the U.S., one bishop is calling out the Pope's restrictions on the traditional Latin Mass. Bishop Thomas Tobin of Providence, Rhode Island, tweeted Tuesday, The way the Vatican is dealing with the traditional Latin Mass does not seem to me to be the style of God. Pope Francis himself has emphasized that those who are attached to the TLM should be accompanied, listened to, and given time. This follows the Vatican announcing further restrictions on the Tridentine Mass earlier this week. In Mexico, the tolerant left is destroying government property and attacking city officials. On Tuesday, a group of LGBT protesters attacked the congressional building of Mexico City, smashing windows and doors and breaking inside. The group was protesting legislation proposed to outlaw trans drugs and surgeries for children. Criminal complaints against the protesters have been filed. And in the UK, reading literary classics is apparently a sign of right-wing extremism. According to leaked documents from the UK's counterterrorism program, Prevent, warning signs of right-wing extremism include reading George Orwell's 1984, Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, John Milton's Paradise Lost, and even the complete works of Shakespeare. Also on the watch list are the films The Great Escape, The Bridge on the River Kwai, and the BBC television documentary series on British Railways. I'm Kim Tizer. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about a world with a God who didn't sacrifice. God bless you.